I'm Stephen Fluin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We're excited to share the news about the Kotlin 1.4 release, which contains new language features, improved compilers, and tools. Kotlin 1.4 improves the ergonomics of writing Kotlin code with new language features, such as SAM conversions for Kotlin interfaces, mixing named and positional arguments, trailing commas, and more. Besides these language features, the bulk of work went into improving the overall quality and performance of the Kotlin compiler with a new, more powerful type inference algorithm and optional alpha stability compiler backends for Kotlin JVM and Kotlin JS. To read all about the new features and to get started with Kotlin 1.4, head on over to the post via the link in the YouTube description or by swiping up on Instagram. We've announced several new features that make developing with Firebase hosting even better. First, our new integration with cloud logging gives you access to web request logs for your hosting sites. Second, hosting will now compress your assets with Broadly encoding. will automatically serve the smallest and best compressed version of your content based on what your user's client is able to handle. Third, Firebase hosting now supports serving country and language specific content backed by the power of our global CDN. Check out the post for all the details on these new features. Earlier this year, we announced the beta release of Game Servers, a managed service built on top of Agonis, an open source server scaling project. We're now proud to announce that Game Servers is generally available for production workloads. Game Servers uses Kubernetes for container orchestration and Agonis for game server fleet orchestration and lifecycle management, providing developers with a modern, simpler paradigm for managing and scaling games. Check out the post for a quick start guide and for more details on how Game Servers helps you run your game. Using a new satellite color mapping technique, Google Maps now has one of the most comprehensive views of natural features on any major app. You can use our recently launched cloud-based map styling tools to preview this new map, adapt it to your style, and bring it to your users on your schedule starting September 15th. Check out the post for screenshots of the new maps and how to adopt them. There are a bunch of updates to DevTools in Chrome 86. The new media panel provides an easier way to view events, logs, properties, and a timeline of frame decodes in the same browser tab as the video player itself. You can now capture node screenshots by the context menu in the elements panel. The new disable local fonts feature emulates missing local sources in at font face rules. There's also support for new JavaScript features, new Lighthouse 6.2 audits, elements and network panel updates, and more, all of which you can read about on the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Stephen Fluin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Sounds like it cuts me. Woo!